Welcome to the ET335 SOP Carnot Maps and VHDL Lab video. The first part of our lab is to create a BCD invalid code detector. So BCD would be binary coded decimals, 0 through 9. And first thing we need to do is put in our decimal numbers. 0, 1. And let's just go to this end, which is our non-BCD, 14, 13, 12, 11, and 10. So 0 through 9 are valid numbers, and these are invalid numbers, so these are all going to be 0. And our valid numbers are going to be 1 through, or excuse me, 0 through 9. And that's our truth table. And we could convert these to Boolean equations, or we could just transfer the numbers over to our Carnot map. And let's do that. Here we have our blank Carnot map, and let's go ahead and fill in all of the proper codes for a BCD. So we have 0 here, so we're going to put a 1 in this box. And we have 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, here we have 8 and 9. All the rest of them are going to be 0, so we have this group here, which is 8, and it is going to break down. The only thing that remains, it would be a bar. And at the very bottom here, we have this group, which combines with this group. So we have a group of four. So we're going to have A's gone. B bar will stay. And C bar stays. And D is gone. So we're going to have A bar plus B bar times C bar. Good. Okay, we're going to uh, create a hexadecimal divide by 2 detector for part 2. And first thing we need to do is go put in our decimal numbers. So this is going to be 0 and this is going to be 15. So 0 is going to be 1. So let's see, where I'll put it in, okay, assume a zero, okay. So two would be divisible, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 14. And all the rest of them are not going to be divisible, so they're going to be 0. Good, and we could transfer these numbers to our Carnot map. Okay, let's find uh, the code. And we're going to take what the information from the truth table, and we're going to put it in our Carnot map. And I'm just going to map it out here. And you guys could put the numbers in directly, but here we have 0, and we have 2, and we're going to have 4, and we need 6, which would be 4 and 2, 6, and then we need 8. And 10, and we need 12, which would be 12, and this one would be 14. Good. And let's go ahead. We have a group of four here, which matches up with a group of four here, so we end up with a map of 8. And it looks like the only code we have would be a D bar. 
So I'm going to assume that you can program this into our quarters board and utilize these equations. If not, go ahead and request and I'll do a complete video with the entire uh, Carnot into a quarters 